Happy Labor Day, quack addicts. It's Takimoto from AddictedToQuack.com. With the 57-34 win over Arkansas State in the books, the Ducks now turn their attention to their next opponent, the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Uh, the Bulldogs and Ducks have some history playing as recently as 2006, but one thing that may be unfamiliar to the Ducks is the coach patrolling the Fresno State sideline. Longtime head coach Pat Hill is out. Former Texas A&M defensive coordinator Tim DeRuder is in. He brings a pass-first spread look to Fresno State, and that change is already seeing results in the Bulldogs' opening win over Weber State 37-10. Quarterback Derek Carr, the younger brother of former number one overall draft pick David Carr, threw for 298 yards and two touchdowns, both of those to freshman wide receiver Devontae Adams. Adams and junior Isaiah Burst combined for 204 yards on 13 catches, and they look to be the top two targets for Derek Carr this season. Running back Robbie Rouse also added 123 yards on the ground and two touchdowns of his own. Add in all those skilled players to a defense that allowed only 67 yards rushing, and this is a team that has some potential as a giant killer. Oregon's starting offense was nothing short of brilliant on Saturday, scoring touchdowns in their first seven possessions on the way to building a 50-3 lead midway through the second quarter. There were some concerns. Uh, the defense, especially in the second half, looked a bit lackluster. It's understandable considering you're playing with such a big lead, but it would still be nice to see those backups really getting um, some intensity and uh, continuing to put the pressure on Arkansas State. They gave up 24 points in the second half. Nick Aliotti was not pleased with that effort, um, so that's something they're going to try to build on for next week. Uh, the backup offense as well only managed to muster one touchdown, though they were playing a very vanilla uh, sort of offense, and there were a lot of players shuffling in and out, and it was difficult to gain continuity. Uh, be sure to tune in all this week for coverage of Oregon Fresno State, as well as the latest uh, duck news and analysis on addictedtoquack.com. Go Ducks! Thank <laughs> you.